Hi friends, in this video, we will see how to plot three dimensional images using origin. So here I have a set of data with x, y and z axis or three variable data. For creating a z axis, usually we will have x and y axis in the workbook. So for creating a z axis, just right click on to that column then you will get it as uh, an option like set as so click z axis from there and then you can set that column as z axis so this is how you will create x y and set three dimensional data or three variable data something like say our sample details then uh, its temperature or its uh, then uh, its concentration concentration of some precursor or say ph so plotting all these together we can create a three dimensional data which will be very helpful in our work so let's see different options for three dimensional plots select all the three axes then go to the option plot and select 3d symbol bar vector so select this option 3d symbol bar vector first one let's check 3d bar so click on to 3d bar so this is the three dimensional image of the data here i had not given the labels for the axis here it's x y z as in the data so this is very beautiful right this is very interesting and very attractive plot if you have a three different variables plotted in a three dimensional form so this is a very nice plot i would say i would suggest it you you sh use this for your paperwork literature work so this is a very beautiful graph now let's check next option now go to the workbook again select the data and go to plot 3d symbol then use 3d scatter this is the 3d scatter plot where you have the data points in the three dimensional space or Cartesian space. So this is also nice. Uh, unlike the two dimensional graph where you will have the data points in X and Y axis. This is more interesting than the two dimensional plots. Now let's check the next one. Go to the workbook again. Go to plot. Then go to 3D trajectory. So 3D trajectory uh, in that the points will be connected by lines. So this is the symbol, symbol plus line plot which uh, we have in the two dimensional plotting. And these plots, uh, these data points will be vertically drawn to the axis or to the plane. So this is how the um, 3D trajectory is done. Now modification can be done by double clicking on the plot uh, then uh, changing all this background size, speed display and all that you can uh, change it and then you can modify the plot for modifying this graph uh, or points double click on to that point there you will have many options to change it uh, you can increase the size apply it then you can change the color uh, individual color say green apply now that is green so you can modify it like that then you can if you are not interested in this drop lines then you can uh, click on to uh, check this bar then apply then that drop lines are gone so in this manner you can change all these uh, variables over here labels you can give labels here now it is not disabled it is uh, disabled so it's not displayed there so likewise you can change all this now if you want it to be something else say star apply then it will be star now size is too small i think let's say uh, make it bigger so this is how 3d images can be modified Okay, similarly you can do all that modification in this plot as well as the first bar plot so for that click on to the bar 
then you can change the colors here spacing of the bar color map error error bar we have not included the error bar here so that is disabled now all these uh, options you have many options here to change and modify your graph okay so these are the three different types of plots three dimensional plots uh, which will be very helpful in plotting three variables at same time so hope you enjoyed this video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel and also click the bell icon so that you will be notified when new videos are uploaded thanks for watching and stay tuned